Hello friends. In this video, we are going to represent all these A curves A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, ACM, A32 and A321 in our iron carbon phase diagram. Before we do that, we are going to discuss why this letter A is particularly used to represent all these curves and then we are going to discuss the significance of all these curves in relation to our iron carbon phase diagram. So friends, let's discuss why we use this letter A and what does A mean? Friends, whenever we are heating a substance, this is the total amount of heat supplied by us and this is the temperature of that substance. So the temperature gradually increases with increasing the heat supplied. But when it reaches a transformation temperature, let's suppose the melting temperature, the curve becomes like this, which means when we supply this much amount of heat, change in temperature is zero, right? Even at melting point because of the enthalpy of melting, here there is no temperature change. Friends, in the beginning when these phase diagrams were drawn, these were drawn while using continuous cooling curves or continuous heating curves. So continuous cooling or heating curves at the transformation temperature, they observe the temperature profile. Temperature profile. So when there is no change in temperature is noticed, even though we are supplying heat, which means this is called friend, thermal arrest. Which means we are supplying heat, but the temperature is not increasing. So all these temperatures at which this thermal arrest occurs, these curves are named using letter A and all these curves represent very important transformations. So whenever a transformation is occurring, this thermal arrest takes place. So all these curves where certain transformations are occurring are named as named using the letter A. So friends, let's discuss each of these curves with their significance and let's draw them in our iron carbon diagram. So let's start with A0. A0 is Curie temperature for cementite. Friends, cementite is magnetic at room temperature. On heating, it loses its magnetic nature at 210 degrees centigrade. So, our first thermal arrest occur at 210 degrees and it is represented as... So, friends, this is our A0 curve. So, A0 is basically the Curie temperature for cementite. Right? It changes from magnetic to non-magnetic on heating. Friends, all these A curves are drawn for heating or for cooling. Please remember. Friends, now represent A1 in our curve. Friends, A1 occurs only if carbon percentage is greater than 0.02. So, A1 exists because of carbon. It starts existing when carbon is greater than 0.02 percentage. But it doesn't change with increasing any amount of carbon percentage. So, A1 remains constant and A1 we represent A1 as lower critical temperature. And here, perlite changes to austenite. So we represent A1 as, friends, this is for hypoeutectoid steels. This is A1. But in this case, A1 is same for hyperutectoid steels as well. Friends, A2 is Curie temperature for alpha iron. This is where alpha iron transforms to beta iron. The magnetic nature of alpha iron is ferromagnetic. It changes to paramagnetic at a temperature A2. A2. Friends, this transformation occurs at a temperature of 768 degrees centigrade. So, we represent A2 as this. Friends, this curve intersects this at 0.5 percentage carbon. So, please remember this point guys. We are going to use this while explaining the other curves. At A2 temperature, magnetic transition of alpha iron is taking place at 768 degrees centigrade. Friends, A2 for hyperutectoid steel coincides with the lower critical temperature A1. Friends, let's discuss now A3. A3 curve represents the transformation of last traces of ferrite to austenite. It is actually a function of carbon. Friends, this for hypoeutectoid steel. This is A3. Friends, we can see the carbon percentage gradually. This curve represents the stability of ferrite and austenite with carbon percentage. For hypoeutectoid steels, A3 is also upper critical temperature. Remember guys, A3 is upper critical temperature for hypo only. And A3 for hyperutectoid steels again coincides with the A1 curve of hyperutectoid steels. Throughout this A3 for hypo, austenite is in equilibrium with ferrite. 
Friends, the region between A1 and A3 is called intercritical region. This region is called intercritical region. Now, friends, after this, we can see this is called A1, 2, 3. For hyperutectoid steers, all these A1, A2, A3 curves are coincide with lower critical temperature for hyperutectoid steers. So, the curve A1, 2, 3 is the lower critical temperature for hyperutectoid steers. Which means here the A1 temperature is for hyperutectoid steel is same as A123 for hyperutectoid steel. So friends A321 because A2 A3 coincide with utectoid temperature. This is the lower critical temperature for heterotectoid steels. Friends, now let's see what is A32 curve. Here, friends, we have discussed this is the A2 curve, the transition of alpha ferrite to the beta ferrite. Friends, I told you to remove this point. This is 0.5% carbon. After this, friends, these two curves coincide with this curve. So the curve after this point is represented as A32 curve. Here, both disappearance of ferrite and magnetism takes place at the same temperature. So this is represented as A32. So after 0.5 weight percentage carbon, A3 is also known as A32. Friends, now let's discuss ACM. In hyperutectoid steel, composition of austenite, which is an equilibrium cementite, is given by ACM line. It is represented as this curve, friends. This is ACM. Friends, this ACM line illustrates that solid stability decreases very rapidly. At 2.1 weight, weight percentage carbon solubility at 1147 degrees to just 0.77 weight percentage solubility at 727 degrees centigrade which is because of the greater stability of cementite at lower temperatures the extra carbon precipitates as pro cementite so friends this sharp decrease in solubility limit is due to the greater stability of cementite at room temperature friends now let's plot a4 curve in our phase diagram friends a4 line represents the solubility of carbon in delta iron so friends, the solubility of carbon is represented by this line in delta iron. So that curve is taken as A4. Friends, let's once again look at all the curves quickly. A0 is this curve which is 210 degrees centigrade. A1 is our low critical temperature. A2 is the transformation of magnetic transition from alpha to beta. A3 is at this curve and A4 is the solubility of carbon in alpha gamma iron and ACM sorry A4 is in delta iron ACM is solubility of carbon in gamma iron A32 is represented by the mixing of A2 and A3 curves and A321 is the lower critical temperature of hyperutectoid steels thank you so much for watching have a nice day